Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel, The Fallen Pages. Today's book is Sciencia. It's about mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, and astronomy for all. So basically, this book is a part of the three books that I did. Quadrivium, Trivium, and Science. Sciencia is this one, and the, the other one is Trivium. Trivium. So, this book mentions about... Uh, the interconnectedness of knowledge itself and each chapter serves as a master class to master class in breaking down complex scientific complexities and principles into digestible insights and they're really really detailed with illustrations I will show you in a minute and now um, this book is specifically it achieves the near impossible uh, distilling vast fields of knowledge into how it portrays it's, it's really elegant and it's it has really uh, poetic explanations in, in Sciencia about math, physics and astronomy and all of that and how it's connected to each other and the illustrations and diagrams are not merely uh, educational tools in the book but portals to deeper understanding of the philosophy of this book and uh, this book is also sort of a reminder that science is not cold and clinical but alive with beauty and symbolism inviting us to see the world with both intellect and wonder so let's just go uh, look at the contents of the book first so it talks about useful mathematical and physical formulae essential elements evolution the human body the compact cosmos it also has some beautiful diagrams and illustrations. So these series by wooden books, these four books, and I think there are more also, but uh, I only only saw these four books. I look into other books also, but specifically these books have really really beautiful illustrations in it, and detail and how it's all interconnected. You know the universe and all that. So it talks about atoms and maths, physics, and all of that. See this? So it says that there are some mathematical objects whose beauty everyone is able to appreciate. The regular polygons and polyhedra are good examples. These figures are surpassed in perfection only by the circle and the sphere. And as a mathematician, I declare that the book that writer basically saying, as a mathematician, I declare that I have established the truth of a theorem by writing at the end of its proof the three letters Q E T, an abbreviation for the Latin phrase "quod right demonstrandum," which translates as "what had to be proved." Okay, and you see this. It gives all the history of literally every mathematical equation and theorem, Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem was also mentioned in Quadrivium, if you remember. So it has the history, how it's relevant up till today, how many changes were made in each time. It has beautiful illustrations. Archimedes theorem. It talks about the infant staircase also. And in this book, it's it's not like that mathematic mathematics is sort of isn't portrayed as a sterile set of numbers, but as a living language. And the geometric shapes, ratios and patterns are presented as uh, universal constants and truths that transcend human uh, invention. See this? It talks about the number of nature. It will talk about the number phi and the golden ratio. It also gives their geometric visual representations Then it starts with book two, useful mathematical and physical formulae. Now it's, I think, chemistry. It comes with illustrations also. I really like the illustrations that were in Quadrivium. 
uh, they were sort of more detailed. I think this is about mats, that's why it has to be uh, specific and precise. Three dimensional figures, two dimensional figures. It talks about alternate realities, trigonometric identities. I mean, if you do not like mats, <laughs> this book is not for you, but I mean, if you have like the slightest uh, interest that how it all started when it comes to mathematics, chemistry, physics, astronomy, then I think this is a good read to get started at something. And the thing about astronomy, astronomy takes us beyond our terrestrial concerns to consider our place in the cosmos. The book sort of captures both the wonder of ancient star grazers and and the precision of modern astrophysics. It's sort of like the spiral galaxy symbolizes the interconnectedness of celestial mechanics. You know, uh, where stars, planets, and black holes coexist in delicate harmony. Then it talks about electromagnetic fields. Calculus, if you like calculus. So it shows that how every equation and theorem is connected with the universe. Like quantum mechanics. And it also talks about higher dimensions also. comes book three essential elements now it's chemistry I believe so the main theme of the book I believe is interconnectivity uh, you know uh, from the microscopic to the cosmic science CS sort of emphasizes that no system exists in isolation Symbology, as I learned from this book, is each com concept is paired with a symbol, bridging ancient wisdom with modern science. Inside the atom. Yeah, now it's chemistry. And I also like the beauty of the simplicity of the book. The book excels in uh, breaking down complex ideas without diluting their depth. Their written detail and visual representation. Then it also talks about crystals. Then it starts with evolution. And see this, it starts with it. Now it has really beautiful illustrations again that I really like. The detail. So, Science here isn't just a scientific book, you know, it's a philosophical meditation on the nature of knowledge. Its ability to blend the poetic with the empirical makes it makes it a treasure for anyone uh, seeking to understand the universe. Chromosomes. Its ability to craft visually pleasing illustrations is, you know, I really like it. Now it has the Book of Life. How it's all basically connected with each other, you know? And I believe it also mentions... Wait, let me see. Yeah, animal morphology. It also talks about the eye vital organs of a human body yeah see this Asian fusion
the earliest survivors of the evolution. How night and day is connected to the human body, the human circulation, chakras and all of that. Now comes the cosmos, the early universe. It talks about the universe now. Black holes, globular clusters, elemental factories, neuron stars and OAs. Like everything is so detailed with illustration that it's really hard to not understand it. You know, the plasma of the universe. Yeah, and also in the end, they also give you a glossary of understanding the maths itself. You know, like it has the periodic table also, and carbonic chemistry, the continents, and all of that. Weights and measures that you can go back, you know, and double check. So yeah, it's 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 a really informative book, and if you really like these old liberal arts like Trivium, Scientia. Quadrivium. So this is a good book to start with, you know, and Neotransmitters, Major Hormones by Glenn, Timeline of Life on Earth. So yeah, this book is a really, really beautiful illustrated uh, compilation by Wooden Books. And if you would like to look at my other videos, I, I will like uh, mention it on the video somewhere on the screen and yeah I guess that that is it I hope you like this book and if you guys any have any questions regarding this book or any any other books do let me know in the comments if I could make this channel better for you guys do also let me know that too and I guess see you next time